all my, all my lay, life, I was a fighter. He was an embracer of life. He was an optimist, still is. I, I was a doer. I started my own company. And he really enjoyed being part of the fashion scene in Toronto. You were a big shot. Yes, well, I, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> the plan was uh, to keep going f forever, forever. All of a sudden, it was gone. I don't have a complete feeling of, of that uh, m moment. It's gone. That's all, I, that's all I know. That's all I know. No uh, feel whatsoever in the word was gone. I was uh, totally uh, helpless, helpless. Jennifer. It's unfair. It was like he had a right arm and a right leg, but that they didn't really belong to him. The leg was very rigid. It was very difficult to get clothes on and off him. Not a pleasant experience at all. We went through the usual thing with the physio and we got a lot of negativity, quite frankly, except for this one doctor who actually encouraged Carl anytime he saw him. And finally, before Carl left the hospital, he came to us and offered us these injections. Initially, it was to reduce the pain. But as we moved through the treatments, the flexibility would start to come back. After the injections, he really did loosen up. The leg is, is much better. The arm is coming too? The arm is coming too, yes. It's becoming much easier. I can move around now. Two years ago, I didn't have that. Carl, I think you can move that leg. Yeah. Yeah, um. so he, he couldn't have done that. Doesn't look very much, but he, he just couldn't have done it. What we hope for down the way is that maybe he can even walk a little bit so that we actually would be able to take him out without the chair. Oh, that would be, that would be the... The ultimate. The ultimate. The ultimate. He didn't have the injections. I'm not sure he'd be willing to fight as hard as he has fought all along. We can thank the injections for being able to do this. I'm Carl. I'm uh, 84 years old and I'm going to beat all the odds that, that come, come my way. <laughs>